why yes i am wearing the same shirt as the last video pre-filming hello bookworms it's caitlin and i'm here with a reading wrap-up and tbr so this october i told myself i was gonna read a lot and i did but i didn't finish a lot so i started evelina i should get my tablet so i can show you the cover for that so these are the books that I started for class, but I didn't finish and I probably won't finish in November because I just wasn't a huge fan of them or I just haven't finished yet. So the first book is Mayor of Casterbridge. I was supposed to read this for my British novel class. These are actually all for my British novel class. Um, and I got like 50 pages into it and then we only spent one day on it. Um, what I read of the description and stuff so I could talk about it in class remind me a lot of Blame Miz. Guy loses his wife and child, so when Blame Miz, his sister and her child, um, becomes a mayor of a town, deals with another guy coming in. There's lovers. It's, it was weird. It reminded me a lot of Blame Miz. Um, but I didn't really like it that much, so I didn't finish it. The next one is... Sons and Lovers by D.H. Lawrence. Um, I didn't hate this one. I, it just wasn't catching my attention at this moment. I got about a third of the way through it. I think I got to like page 150? 159, 160. And I've been listening to the audiobook at the same time, but it just doesn't really grab my attention. Um, I feel like I have to completely start it over. And at this moment, I don't really have time to read this one with the other things coming up. Um, next one that I've started and not finished yet, this one I will be finishing because I am enjoying it and I still have another class on it, is, let's get to the cover, maybe, is Evelina by Fanny Burney. So it's that one in the top corner. Okay. So. There's a bunch of different covers, and that is by Fanny Burney, who also wrote a mastectomy, and yeah, a couple other things that I can't think of right now. But she's really good, and I am enjoying this. I just need to actually read more of it. Um, other books that I am currently reading, still listening to Rainbow Six Siege um, by Tom Clancy. Uh, just. That one, it's a really long audiobook. I think I have like 10 hours left of it, so I should be able to finish it this month. Woo! So, what books did I actually finish this month? Um, the first book that I finished, I don't have it. It's an audiobook, and I don't have it on my tablet, so I can't show you, but it is Stephen King's uh, um, Gunslinger, which is the first series, or first, first, <laughs> first book in the Gunslinger series. Um, I gave it a three stars. It wasn't great. I didn't hate it. Um, I've heard you really love it or hate it. I might continue the series. I've heard it gets better. But at this moment, I don't have the time and I'm interested in other things. So, yeah. After that, I finished Carval by Stephanie Garber. I gave this a 4.5 stars out of five. Um, I really like the concept of it. Um, it was different. I'm sad I didn't start it sooner. I really liked it. Um, so yeah, there will be a book talk for this going up next Friday. Yes. Let me know in the comments below if you want book talk for this up first or for this one. Let me know. So the next book that I finished was The Sun and Her Flowers by Ruby Kaur. Uh This was the second chapbook in by Ruby Core. The first book uh, you may recognize is Milk and Honey, which I did do a book talk for, so I will put that somewhere for you to watch. Um, I really enjoyed it. As you can see, I don't fold over pages unless it's poetry because I don't like putting all so many tabs in it, um, but I did enjoy quite a few of her poems. Um, and it was really moving. It had a lot to do with um, understanding yourself after sexual assault 
refugees, coming of age in a society where you are considered lesser, things like that. A lot of things that really opened up my mind as a white individual. I thought it was really beautiful and I really like her puppetry. So I give this four stars. And that was it. I only finished three books this month, which isn't awful. I was in a show, driving back and forth to my new job, things like that. I did listen to a lot of podcasts though. Uh, Welcome to Night Vale, I'm completely caught up on. Um, Alice isn't dead. Um, and the Dead Robot Society, I am completely caught all up on. And I'm sad that I am because I even have listened like three months back in the backlog. So, <laughs> what do I do? If you have any new podcasts, let me know down below so I have something to listen to when I'm not listening to audiobooks. So, what do I plan to read in November? The first two are ones that I'm planning on finishing. And those are The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood and The Battle Mage by Taryn Matthew. Matthew? Matthew? I'm still planning on finishing this. Uh, Bubby and I have not done a Bubby book review. Planning on doing that when I go home for Thanksgiving, so look forward to that in November, unless I film it when I go home on the 11th, but then you still won't see it till Thanksgiving. So, depends on how quickly I read it. Uh, I'm about halfway through it. I just haven't had time to read it, um, and other things have drawn me away. But I do want to finish it so we can do it as it's his favorite series ever. He's already read it like twice, so I really need to catch up. But this is the first one. Um, I, we have reviews for the first and the second, or just the second one. I have a blog post for the first one and a re video for the second one. So look for that. I will link those down below. I'm just gonna have so much in the description. Just open it. Just open it. You need to. Um, and then Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale. Both of these I haven't been able to pick up in October. I've got sticky notes. Um, this one, I think I was like 100 pages in. Yes, I was 100 pages in, so just under halfway. About a third. A little more than a third. And I was really enjoying it, but it's one that you kind of have to do in little bursts just because of how much it makes you think. And I'm definitely going to be doing a book talk on this. I know I will be. I just gotta finish it, which is my goal for November. Then what else am I reading? So other books that I'm going to start, two of these are for class. Uh, the To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. This is a very short book. It's it's a hundred pages, so I should be able to finish this really easily. Um, I've heard though that it is quite dense, so it might take me a bit, but it's a hundred pages. I can get through that fairly quickly, so that is the goal. We're going to finish this one. And then White Teeth by Zadia, Zadie Smith. Um, this one is from a British novel class, but unlike the others, this one was published in the year 2000. Um, it's funny, generous, big-hearted novel adored by critics and readers alike. I don't know anything about this, but everyone in my class is gushing about it. So this will be near the end of November. It might go over into December, just depending on how my class schedule goes. And the last book that I want to read that I really need to read before the movie comes out, because I want to break my heart, is The Princess Diarist by Carrie Fisher. Now, this came out a month before she died. <laughs> Gary Fisher. Um, it is a series of diary entries and reactions to those diary entries from her time in Star Wars in the original series. Oh, there's someone outside my window. Don't look up. Don't look up to the third floor. Okay. <laughs> it's a series of reactions to her time in Star Wars and it's I feel like I'm gonna cry a lot I think I've said that in my haul when I got it but I just love Carrie Fisher and I'm sad she's gone what is that person looking at but this is another one that I need to finish especially before uh, Star Wars comes out um, and that's what I'm planning on reading for the month of November which it's a pretty 
long list of books. There's like five or six books there. Um, and I'll be doing NaNoWriMo, so I don't know how doable. Some of these might go over to November and December, not November. It will be November. Eh. We'll go over to December, but that's okay. That's what reading's for. It's for fun and reading and da 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 da, -da. So, check the description box down below because there will be a lot of stuff for you down there. A lot. Um, a lot of stuff down there and all of my social media links will be there so we can be friends. Be my friend. I like friends. I'm sad and lonely. Am I single? I have no friends. <laughs> I'm tired and I'm gonna go and take it out. Maybe. Probably not. Okay. So check out the social media links. Check out everything that's been in the cards. This is a really rambly outro. I'm gonna go. Okay, bye!